guns do fire, they only fire blanks and they will only be fired inboard at us. So none of you will get pepper with any powder. Because that's all it is. They do make a bit of a bang. I know some people don't like it, but we're all legal. I've got all the paperwork on board if you want to have a look. So, and it was during the Second, the second Boer War. The army at uh, Ladysmith in South Africa were being overrun by the Boers. And what they asked to do was they asked the Navy to supply field guns, to which they did on two ships. They were HMS Powerful and HMS Terrible. On those ships they had crews from many other ships because these guns, the actual live guns that they used were a tonne and a half. The ammo box at the back was half a tonne, so if you can imagine two tonne being pulled by men, because they had no traction of any kind. They landed them on the beaches, they run them up over the sands, over the dunes, and what you saw at the Earl's Court Royal Tournament, taking them over the chasms, taking them apart, flying the guns across the chasms, rebuilding them, that's actually happened. And we met a fireman, believe it or not, um, in fact my son went to school with his son, but his grandfather was on the HMS Powerful. So you can imagine, they must have been really beefy men. Um, but basically, I, I believe they won, they won their battlement. And uh, this all came about to do the displaying around about the 1900 mark. And uh, they did it at the, uh, the Royal Tournament in London. So what you're going to see now, we do the Brickwood style flat run, which is still run today at HMS Collingwood in uh, Gosport. My two sons are the trainers, there's Chris and Matt. They were trained by the number one field gunner from Portsmouth, uh, from the main team of uh, Command Field Gun guns next year. Um, so they're going to hopefully come down with half a team, join our team, do a full day's training and show us how to go over the wall safely and correctly. Everything has to be done correct because you can get hurt. Uh, on the real field guns they used to lose fingers, they used to whack their shoulders out where they're carrying the wheels. Bearing in mind their wheels were 120 pounds in weight. The gun barrel was 900 pound in weight. The gun limber was 650 pound in weight. And their gun limbers were built from old railway stations and they were hot riveted together. And to make the actual, uh, the, the wheels were all handmade out of oak and solid brass hubs. So you can see the weight. Right, I'm gonna leave it over to Matt and I believe, oh no, of course we have Mick. Mick is the next policeman. And uh, he's got the gun, so I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> he's going to use the starting pistol to start the run, and I'll leave it over to Mick. Thank you. They're going to go into the box, Bill. They lift the box. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> we'll get in the uh, area. I'll stand this side. Got a bit of signal problem. But now they're going to, what they call, pin on. Run the gun up to the top. They will unlimber the gun. The box is spun round. The gun will be turned inboard. That's it, left inboard. And the speedy bullet will run to arm the gun. These guns are going to fire, so block your ears if you're a bit ear shy. Right, and then they're going to go off in a second. There's one. There's number two. There's number three. Okay. Now they're going to run the box back up onto the gun. You know, there's no point having a gun if it doesn't fire. So this is as authentic as we are possibly allowed to get. That would depict a full gun wheel lift because we haven't got as many team here. Normally, you would do a wheel change at that point where all the wheels are changed. They're going to do a second firing run. One, two, three, that's the third fire. We're going to run the box back up onto the gun. And there's a home run. Oh no, they're 
they're going to do? Ah, that's it, yep. They're going to do a short sporadic fire. That's it. Then they'll do the short home run. That would be the first run. Okay, now what they're going to do is they're going to set it back up and hopefully do it a little bit faster. This is a full field gun display team. They do work very hard. Thank you. You may, if you wish. You can join the team. They'll quickly train you up. Would any of you be interested? We've got the children. We've got more than one. Because they're not allowed to be near the farm. Anyway. If any of you is interested, seriously, in having a go, it's quite easy. Even I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, up to the bottom.